using menus and forms and entering data using forms. So let's go back into Oracle applications and understand how to go about entering data in forms and how to retrieve the data back from the database. So I'm going to minimize this and I will go into Oracle applications and since we have logged out, we will log in again now with the same user called as operations and the password welcome. Hit the login button. And this is the same interface we have seen in the last movie. So since we have taken the example of purchasing manager, I'm going to go back to purchasing responsibility to understand the procedure of entering data in the forms. So I'm going to scroll down to purchasing vision operations USA responsibility. And within that one, I'm going to go to a form called as purchase orders. Now, as I say form, there are two kinds of forms that comes with Oracle applications. One is a form which gives you HTML look and feel, but in the server, that form is made using something called as JSPs. JSP stands for Java server pages. As you could see out here in the URL, you have got something called as a JSP. So for entering the purchase order, you can go to a menu called as buyers work center and within that there is a function called as orders so click on that one for the first time when the form loads it takes a while to load because it caches that form in the memory of the server all right so there you go and in order to enter a new purchase order all you do it is go to the right hand side and you got something called as create and then you select the type of purchase order and hit the go button. So in this case I will select a standard PO and then a form will open for standard purchase order wherein you can start entering the details. So there you go and now what I'm going to do it is I'm going to choose a supplier called as advanced network devices. So let's say we'll query by this word choose the supplier and then we will enter the supplier site. Now this information pertaining to supplier must be predefined prior to entering the purchase order. So there is a considerable setup that goes into that and all those things I have explained as a part of my purchasing course details. Now anyway you enter your supplier and supplier site, come down and you can see the other details got defaulted automatically. Again, it depends on how you have set up purchasing. So we have set up such that these details gets defaulted automatically, but you can always override them. But to save our time, we will just leave them as it is. And what I'm going to do at this point of time, I'm going to go to the lines and enter a purchase order line. All right, and here I will select a particular item. Let's say, again, this item must be predefined in the database. So let's say we choose the item description and search by something called as a desktop. All right, and then it will retrieve all the values that contains the word desktop so as you could see it's just retrieved so what I'm gonna do I will just pick up this particular item say desktop chases and then the description would be defaulted automatically based on the item description the category would also be attached to the item so all I've got to do it is enter the quantity and as you could see even the unit of measure got defaulted with the price Okay, then you enter the need by date. So I'm going to pick a particular need by date, let's say 10th of February. And once I'm done, then you can enter potentially other details. So at this point of time, I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm going to save this particular record. And as soon as I'm going to save, it's going to generate a new standard purchase order number over here and we would note down that particular PO number. So there you go, it's just generated a purchase order number 6574. So we're going to copy this one. And then optionally, once you're done with all your purchasing data and related stuff, then you can submit it for approval. So at this point of time, let's leave it as it is. And if you go back to the workbench, the status of this purchase order would be incomplete. And I'm going to go back to orders and look at this particular order and you would see the status right there. 
all right there you go so 6574 and the status is incomplete okay so that's one way of entering data in the forms using gsp forms which gives you a look and feel of html forms now the other kind of form that you can see in oracle applications is called as java based forms so i'm going to go down and i'm going to go back to the same purchasing responsibility and within that i would now click on purchase orders menu and within that i will click on another function called as purchase order which is going to open me a java based form these kind of forms are actually developed in a oracle tool which is called as developer 2000 i can also enter a purchase order over here just like i have entered using the gsp forms so let's do that the user interface here is slightly different in terms of look and feel because it's a java based form so i'm going to take the same supplier advanced network devices and then i'm going to pick the supplier site and then optionally you can enter a description over here and i will leave rest of the defaults as it is then come down and enter a item information now here i will enter some details just like what we have done earlier so we can potentially query an item okay so let's query with a word a and see what comes up okay we'll order this particular one all right and then as i have done it previously we'll enter a quantity in this case the price of this item hasn't been defined so we'll define the price of this item as say 250 dollar and then optionally you can enter a need by date again look at the user interface slightly different than what we have seen in the JSP form so give some need by date enter and then you can optionally enter other information in the form in terms of shipments your payment terms currencies catalog etc but I'm not going to go into the details of that and I'm going to save this and as soon as I'm saving it a PO number would be generated right over here so in this case it has just incremented from the last one this one is 6575 both the purchase order numbers i can query in this particular form or i can go back to the previous gsp based form and i can query even there because they are purchase order but just the ui is different the advantage of this particular ui is that you've got a number of additional menu functions available over here for instance if i want to see who has created this form and when this particular record of purchase order has been created i can go into the help and then i go to record history it's going to show us the complete details of this particular record so as you could see who has created operations when it was created on 3rd of feb and if it was updated after that then the update date would be shown and the corresponding technical details such as the table on which it has stored the data so these are the various different ways you can enter data into oracle application forms now this is the entry site then comes the data query site so if you want to query your data all you've got to do you've got to use functions such as query find or simply use f11 function which is called as enter query i'm going to show you those features in a little while later so at this point let's go back to the jsp base purchase order forms and see whether we can view the newly entered purchase order whether we can see it over there or not so what i'm going to do i'm going to close this particular session for oracle application forms and then i'm going to go back to the gsp and in this case this is how you go back to the gsp a different menu and i'm going to go back to the orders and there you will see the newly entered order i believe the number was 6575 and as you could see test po 2 was the description we have given and the order number 6575 so basically the database is same it's just the front end user interface which is different some people like this a JSP base whereas the old fashion one which had come from previous releases of Oracle applications was the form that I have just shown you mm -hmm.